Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Cooper and I will be leading you through the math portion of your review course for the nursing exam. I've been teaching math here at CLC for a couple of years and I've taught at some other places and I try to make math as enjoyable as I can uh, for students. Um, and I'm gonna try to do that with you here. Things are a little different. I'm recording this video in the fall of 2020. And as we know, in the spring of 2020, when COVID-19 hit, you know, we were on severe lockdown for a while here in Illinois, and uh, the college uh, came to a screeching halt, and I lost my classroom and my beloved marker boards. I am, I am very much an old school instructor. I love the marker board. I fill up every board in the room. I lost it. I was right in the middle of teaching a regular semester class, and this nursing course was just about to start. So I had to scramble just using what I had at home to record a bunch of videos. That was really my only way to do it. I, I wasn't even up to speed on Zoom. I didn't have that figured out, so I couldn't even host live Zoom meetings. So what I did is recorded a bunch of videos on the equipment I had at home, which was not very good. Um, Wi-Fi connection was sketchy. Uh, lots of kids making noise in the background, even though I was kind of locked away in a little basement bunker, but. I had a sign on the door that said, you know, recording in progress, do not knock, do not make ruckus, and you know how it is. So uh, those videos are not ideal. I mean, they're not bad, but the audio quality is not great just because of the microphone I had, and, and there is some background ruckus. So I'm in the process of re-recording them while I'm at the, at the school in a nice classroom. So it's taking time, though, to get them all done. So depending on when you're watching these videos, you're gonna have some maybe old and some new mixed together. I'm not necessarily recording them in order. So uh, bear with the kind of hodgepodge nature of the videos. And again, the, the, the quote unquote poor ones aren't really that bad. It's just, the, I, I'm not proud of them. So I'm, I'm re-recording them. It's just, it's taking time to get it done. So bear with me there. Otherwise, I just wanna, um, introduce myself, which I've done, and just talk about what we're going to do in the course. You may have already watched the video on the playlist that said calculator tutorial, you know, read me first or watch me first. Uh, if that video is not there, don't worry about it, okay? That means I've, I've corrected the issues, but one of the other problems I had while we were all kind of locked away in our homes is that I did not have the calculator that you typically get to use on this exam at home. So I was just using the calculators that I have, you know, in my everyday life, which were different from the ones you get to use. Okay, now again, as I record this video in the fall of 2020, even the calculator is kind of up for grabs. I think there's an embedded calculator in the exam, meaning there's buttons you can click. I assume that's what that means, but um, I've also heard that maybe you could just use whatever calculator you have. So it's still very unclear on, on the calculator story, but uh, the reason I made that tutorial is because some of the keystrokes are quite different on the calculator I was using in many of the videos versus the one that I've been told you get to use. So I finally got my hands on a, on a calculator over the summer and I, I made that little video saying, hey, here's some of the things I did in the videos are different. Here's, here's what to watch out for. So as I re-record these new videos now, I'm going to use the calculator they gave me that and they told me that you get to use. So there shouldn't be any issues with the newer videos, but you may still be seeing some older videos, again, depending on when you're watching. So um, that's that. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to redo them all to make them a little more polished uh, showpiece. So anyway, right now I just wanna share with you a screen of my little agenda uh, for the course here. So let me, let me share that screen. Okay, and we'll just talk about it. Traditionally, the math portion meant for 12 hours in the classroom over the course of four different nights, okay? So night number one, as soon as students came in, bam, oh, I hit you with a pretest. <laughs> I said, hey, let's get a baseline, right? I mean, this class is, I don't want to say it's, it's for fun. Nobody's taking it for fun, but it's not like a serious semester course. It's, it's, it's a more lighthearted course, but I wanted to hit you with a test immediately to give yourself a baseline. I mean, this is, this is you assessing yourself. I don't need to know how you're doing. You need to know how you're doing, right? Because you're the one faced with this exam. So uh, we took, I handed out a pretest and then I, I just handed out the answers. I did not take the time to go over the answers. And the reason I did that is it, 
it would take too long where I would actually have to try to teach the entire course right then and there as I'm explaining all these answers. So I said, better, I'll just hand the students the answer key so you can see how you did. And then we'll work through the material. And then at the very end of the course, I gave you another test. And that one we did work through. So as you look at the videos, you'll see there's a video where I just give you an exam. I read the questions because back in the spring of 2020, we didn't even have access to the school to upload a document. We had like nothing. So I, I had a, a hard copy paper and I just, you know, I just read the questions. I, I held the paper underneath the camera and I said, you know, here's the questions. So uh, I went ahead and re-recorded the videos again, reading the questions just in case you don't have access. And then I, I quickly again read the solutions for you. In an ideal world, you'll be able just to download that material right off of Canvas, the questions and the solutions. Okay, so you shouldn't have to watch those videos, but just in case I made them. All right, so that's the first night pre-test. Then I just start going over topics, place values and rounding, taking averages, fractions and mixed numbers. There's a lot to fractions and mixed numbers when you do it by hand. When you use the calculator tool, it's real easy. So I, I, I show it both ways, but time is, is of the essence on the exam. You're gonna wanna use that calculator fraction button for sure. Um, decimals and percents, I go over on that first night. Some basic rules of algebra and add, subtract, multiply, and divide, what we call real numbers, okay? Everything's easy until you throw negative numbers into the mix, then you gotta maybe stop and think a little bit about how to do it, okay? Second night, I go over exponents and roots, evaluating expressions, this thing we call order of operations. When you have a big, long you know, string of commands, you have to follow a certain order to get it correct. Uh, polynomials, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing polynomials. Negative exponents, okay, scientific notation. Factoring polynomials and simplifying rational expressions. Those are kind of almost obscure topics, in my opinion, for this exam, but there are some questions about it. So we really have to take the time to, to cover it, and we do. Okay, the third night, finally, we start solving linear equations, you know, good old solving for x. We talk about formulas, which are just equations that mean something, okay? And and how to not only evaluate a formula, but maybe shuffle a formula around if it's not given to us in the exact way we would like to see it. We can shuffle it around. Uh, percent equations, proportions, which are just like equivalent fractions, an uh, easy way to solve proportions we'll talk about. Linear inequalities, very similar to an equation, but you have an inequality symbol, like a less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to sign as opposed to an equal sign, there's some differences. Finally, systems of equations, multiple equations at the same time that are coupled together, okay? Then we go above linear, we talk about some basic quadratic equations, that's x to the second power, cubic equations, x to the third power, and we talk about the Pythagorean theorem, which is a classic theorem out of geometry about uh, right triangles, okay? Finally, that fourth night, we do some more geometry stuff, we convert units, not only English, what we call British units that we're maybe more familiar with, but also the metric system. You know, we're about the only country in the world that doesn't use the metric system. Now, fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, uh, it is used in the medical profession quite often. You talk about kilograms, you talk about cubic centimeters. Those are, those are metric measurements. Uh, milliliters, that's a metric measurement, okay? And then finally, a post-test where you take the test and then we do go over every question together, all right? So that's uh, my intent here. I'm gonna start making videos. Just, uh, you know, the first video is gonna be, uh, well, the first few are gonna be about that pre-test and then I'm gonna dive into, you know, place values and rounding and we'll go from there. I try not to make the videos too long. It's not necessarily one video per topic, okay? Not at all. It's, it's I don't want the videos to be too long. They're all... 15, 20, 25 minutes, just depending on when it was a good point to stop, okay? So uh, you can see, um, they're, they're labeled and you can see, uh, you know, what the topics are as you go through. All right, so welcome. Thank you for uh, being part of the class and I hope you get a lot out of it and we will start making videos. Thanks so much.